Jackie and this is my channel. I just call it Every Day with Jackie. If this is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, you'll find videos such as hauls, reviews, shop my stash videos, a little bit of lifestyle content, trying new products, and a lot of get ready with me videos, just to name a few. So in today's video, I am going to be shopping my stash for some new items. So if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell. So you're aware each and every time that a video goes up. And for my returning subscribers, it's good to see you as always. Welcome to another video. We're back at it again. This boy, every time I get in front of the camera, he wants to misbehave. As I was saying, if you're interested in seeing the products that I will be using for the next two weeks for my Shop My Stash, then you'll have to keep watching. Lucky behave. <laughs> okay, so I tried to find a treat that would take him the longest. So we got to hurry. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and jump into the video. I'm very casual today. I just filmed the video just a few minutes ago and I wanted to go ahead and get another video under my belt. But I'm telling you, I am so cold and I just wanted to relax. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I don't have the items to show you from my previous Shop My Stash because when I was filming the Sephora video, I pulled all my Sephora products or pulled some Sephora products for my recommendations video and then I put them away. So I ended up putting a lot of my Shop My Stash items away as well. So I am sorry, but I don't have those to share with you in today's video. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in and talk about what we're going to be using for the next two weeks. So I do want to start with my foundations. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring you down. And I practically already decided what I want to use. Um, I do want to go ahead and use my Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. I did recommend this in my Sephora recommendations and I did a full face of Sephora recommended products and when I used this foundation stick, oh, it just made me want to go ahead and put it in this month's Shop My Stash. So I am going to be using this foundation stick and I am in the shade 500 G Mocha. I do have my glitter glue in here and that is saying... But it looks like I took out my eyelash primer. So I'll grab that in a bit. So again, the, the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick. I want to use this product. And I do want to go ahead and use my Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade 500 Walnut. And this is for combination of oily skin. And the treat didn't last long enough because he is back. <laughs> so I do want to use this. This is, um, I actually had this before, but I had it in a different shade. So now I picked up this shade and haven't really had a chance to use it that often. So I do want to use this. This has a matte finish and it also has SPF 15. So we will be using our Revlon Color Stay. I love this foundation. It is um, one of the best drugstore foundations in my opinion. So those are the two products that I'm going to, oh, you guys, hold up. I'm also going to pull my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint, and I have the shade 20. I have been, ever since I did that review, I have been using this skin tint nonstop and have recommended it to a few of my friends. So I also want to pull this because this has quickly become a favorite of mine. So this is going to go in my Shop My Stash as well. Let's see if we can figure out a setting spray. Um, I'm going to let this uh, Fenty Beauty, what it do, rest for a bit. No, sir. <laughs> and I did get a new setting spray. This is 
by Maven Beauty. It's the Rose Water Setting Spray. I did get this in my BoxyCharm, so I think I want to test this out and try it. So I do want to go ahead and give this a try and see how I like it. Um, I'm anxious to see what kind of finish it's supposed to have, so um, I'm going to add this to my Shop My Stash for the next two weeks. And I think that's the only spray that I'm going to use. No, well, I changed my mind. I also want to use my Cover FX because if this is a matte spray, then I definitely want a dewy spray. So I'm going to take this Cover FX dewy setting spray and add it to my shop my sash as well so as far as our concealers okay i think i am gonna go ahead and use i feel like i don't have very many concealers i'm gonna go in with my alma beauty and this is in the shade t2 brown sugar and i think i'm going to pull Hmm. Yes, let's go ahead and pull the lip bar. Ah, uh -uh. sit. Sit. Let's go ahead and pull the lip bar. This is the Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. And this is in the shade 4 o'clock cinnamon. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm not sure if I even showed you guys. This is the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer and the Lip Bar. For powder and bronzer, I'm definitely pulling my Color Rain Bronzer. And this is in the shade Naughty Spice. So I'm going to definitely use this for the next two weeks. And I probably really only need one bronzer, but again, I think I may, looks like I have some bronzers over here as well. This is what I was looking for. I think I want to go ahead and pull also my Morphe bronzer. This is uh, their Glamour Bronze, and this is in the shape of Nom. I think I want to go ahead and use this bronzer as well. This bronzer is so nice on the skin. And while I have my powders here, I do want to definitely use, I picked up this Charlotte Tilbury powder. And this is one of the shades that's been discontinued, but I was able to find it on Amazon. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in the shade 3 Dark. I just got this. I really haven't had a chance to use it. This was the package that was on my doorstep yesterday. I don't know how this is supposed to be dark. I do want to use this. And I want to use my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And I have the shade Translucent Medium. This is one of my favorite powders as well. I do want to use this. And I don't think I'm going to pull anything else in terms of any more powders. I don't think I'm going to, yeah, I'm not pulling any more powders. I'm going to try to keep it simple. And I did just see a blush in here. So for blush, oh, that's always hard. Really, 
how about we, how about, let's use our Cream Blush by Fenty Beauty, Lucky Taylor. Sit yourself down. Let's use our Cream Blush by Fenty Beauty, and this is the Cheeks Out Summertime Wine. We will use this this is what it looks like, kind of beat up looking, but I do want to use that blush. And let's also, sir, we're also going to go with our Becca blush. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to pick up the pace because he's not going to be patient much longer. And this is just in the shade Nightingale. We'll throw this in the mix. I have been forgetting about my contour. I don't have very many. So let's just stick with this Morphe Brontour. And this is uh, in the shade Showmance. So while we're in this drawer, we can go ahead and pull a highlighter. And I know just one right here on top. This is the highlighter we will be using, and this is by Oma Beauty. And this is in the shade Barbados. Very pretty highlighter. I do want to use that highlighter. And you know what? I'm going to take my Morphe bronzer out for this round and instead I am going to use this KKW Beauty and this is it says it's a contour but I use this as a bronzer and I really do like this as a bronzer so let's use this because we have not used this in so long so this says that this is contour nine. Definitely want to use this as my bronzer. So we'll use that. And that's all we'll pull from here. My poor baby, he walked away. He's upset now. <laughs> I am going to pull this Huda Beauty. And this is their water jelly primer. I want to pull that and use it. And I want to pull one more primer. I feel like I didn't even use this this much. So I'm going to pull this NYX the Marshmallow Primer once again. I don't know. I just feel like I don't even have a good grasp of this. I feel like I didn't even use it that often. So I do want to use this. We'll give that another round. And for my pores... I did know, I do know that we used the Cover FX Blurring Primer the last time in Shop My Stash. So this time we're going to use our Pore Blur. This is a Blur and Prime Primer, and this is by Makeup Revolution. I'm going to use this, this one. I am also, okay, I'm also for my eyelid I think I want to use I'm definitely um, able to use all my items from my project pan so I don't really have to pull my Mac paint pot because that's always available to me so with that said I think I'm going to use let's go with our Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. Let's go with this one. So we'll use that for the next two weeks. And I think, you know what? <laughs> As I go through my things, I see stuff that I haven't used in a bit. So I'm going to put back, back this NYX Marshmallow Primer. And I am going to pull... I definitely need a bigger container for these primers. 
but I'm going to pull this First Aid Beauty. Yes, I'm going to pull the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. And I'm going to use this because we haven't used this in a bit. So I'm going to use that primer. Have we covered everything? Let's look and see what we have. We have bronzers, contours, eye primers, pore blurs, blush, setting spray, powder, powder, foundation. I feel like I should put one of these foundations back. I think I'm going to put back this Revlon Color Stay because it's only for two weeks. I don't need three foundations. So I think I'm going to put this one back and we'll grab it the next time. Okay. So we need to pull a palette. Eyebrows. Mascara. Okay. Because yes, I always have my project pen handy. So let me go and try to see which two palettes that I want to use. Um, I think my eyebrow pencil is going to be a no-brainer. And eyeliner. I think we're going to switch out my eyeliner. Yeah. Let me go and see what else I want to pull. And I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back. I have chosen my palettes. And so let me show those to you really quickly. I went ahead and picked my Huda Beauty. Seems like it's a Huda Beauty shop my stash, but it's not. Um, I did pick the nude palette. This is in the shade medium. And I think this is always perfect for work. I enjoy using this uh, when I have to get ready for work. So I think I want to pull this for the next two weeks. Along with some of my single shadows by ColourPop. I think I'm pulling too much in terms of eyeshadow. But these are some of my single shadows that I picked up from ColourPop. So I think I want to play with these because I haven't used these all that often. So we're going to do uh, these single shadows. And if I don't change my mind and put back my single shadows, <laughs> I think I want to pull this Huda Beauty <laughs> Desert Dust Palette. I have not played with this palette very much at all. And as I'm sitting here, I think I am changing my mind. I think I'm going to put back my single shadows and maybe save those until my next Shop My Stash. And I think I'll play with this How to Beauty Desert Dusk because I think uh, I'm going to have too many eyeshadows. So I think I'm just going to stick to two. And let me show you what this looks like. I think I'll be well covered with this one and the other <laughs> and the other Huda Beauty palette. I did not plan this honestly, but I think I'll be, you know, covered with these and I could definitely can get some work appropriate looks out of these. So, I'm going to pull those two palettes and I do want to pull Yes, my Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. This is their Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I do want to pull this one. And let's just take a look. I'm going to put that one in there. And here is my Lancome Sills Booster XL. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my Shop My Stash. That's uh, my eyelash primer. And let's see. I kind of really want to pull 
these two mascaras. I don't, you know, I've told you guys I don't want to open up mascaras only for two weeks. And these two right here are on their last leg. I just finished my other one that I had in my purse. These two are on their last leg. And this is my um, Essence Lash Princess, the False Lash the False Lash Effect Mascara. So I'm going to put that in. And then I also have my Wonder Beauty Mal High Club. This is definitely on its last leg. So I'm going to put this in as well. And a few minutes ago, I saw my, I just had my e.l.f. eyebrow gel, but I don't know where I put it. And now that I'm saying that, I do see that I have a, this is clear though. Oh, you guys, I do want to go ahead and pull this as well. This is the highlighter matte gel eye crayon um this is by mark jacobs and i did pick this up not too long ago and haven't really used it so this is in the shade brown so i do want to go ahead and use this like i said i haven't used it very much so yeah i think i want to use this so now i have a black eyeliner and a brown one so let's put this in my shop my stash i don't know where my eyebrow gel is by elf but i just had it just as i was gathering my things for my shop my stash so um, i'm gonna find it and that eye eyebrow gel is gonna go in my shop my stash by elf and it's just the brow wow by elf and i'm gonna add that to my shop my stash and i don't think i need anything else out of here except an eyebrow pencil i was looking for my one by mac that pencil never stays put i'm always losing it oh here it is i take it back <laughs> so for my eyebrows I'm going to use this MAC Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the shade Spike. And this is the Eyebrow Styler. And again, this is by MAC. So I do like this. And I'm going to put this in. And now, you guys, I think that does it. So I'm going to put my old Eyebrow Pencil back. And my um, Eyeliner by black radiance i'm gonna put that back and then i just have some lip balms and a lipstick in here so i think i think let me put this back in there so i think that's it i think that's it you guys i think we have pulled our products for the next two weeks and once again, I'm sorry I don't have the products to show you that we just finished using, but they just got mixed in when I was doing the Sephora video. So you'll have to give me a little grace. Okay, so again, all my products have just been mixed up. I see some of my Project Pan down with my foundations. It's just all over the place. Oh, here's my e.l.f. Brow Wow. I knew I had it. So... That's going to go in my Project Pan. I'm going to try to get all these Project Pan items back together. I mean, they're not terribly bad, but I can see where I did go awry. So just quickly, I want to recap. So we're going to use the Huda Beauty Nude Palette along with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. These are the two eyeshadow palettes that we're using, and that's it. For powder for all over, I am using my Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder, and this is in the shade um, Translucent Medium. And I did pick up the Charlotte Tilbury's because I wanted to try it for under eyes, as well as I could use it all over my face, but I heard this was really nice for your under eyes. You know I've been struggling with my under eyes lately, so I want something, I know that with my other powder by Charlotte Tilbury, I know it's very smooth, it's very blurring, 
and it's just leaves, leaves such a nice finish. So I use this all over the face and this is in four deep and this one is in three dark. So four deep is just a beautiful powder all over the face. So I just want to use this to set my under eyes and if I desire, I'll try to use it all over the face. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but we'll see. And we have our First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm going to use this for our primer. I'm going to use our MAC eyebrow pencil in the shade spike for our eyebrows here's our huda beauty another huda beauty product this is our water jelly primer i'm gonna use this looking forward to it i have my alma beauty highlighter in the shade barbados can't wait and then we have our Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I love it, love it, love it. This is in the shade 20. Marc Jacobs Eye, Cry Eye Crayon, and this is in the shade brown. Huda Beauty Stick Foundation in the shade 300, no, in the shade Mocha 500G. Going to use this. My NYX glitter glue just always stays on deck. Have two mascaras Wonder Beauty Mal High Club and Essence Lash Princess. Going to put both of those in there. And again, my Brow Wow by e.l.f. for my eyebrows. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. Going to use this to set our lids. And my other product that's supposed to always be on deck that I had to hunt for, but again, because of Sephora video, uh, this is the Lancome Sales Booster. I'm going to use this. And Makeup Revolution, we're going to use the Pore Blur. This is a Blur and Prime Primer. Using this to fill in our pores. Two setting sprays. This one's new and I haven't used it. This is by Maven Beauty. This is the Rose Water Setting Spray. Um, just says makeup setting spray. So I want to see how this performs. So I want to use this. And I also have my Cover FX Dewy Setting Spray. I'm going to use that. I have my Becca Blush in the shade Nightingale. Using this, this is such a pretty blush, along with my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, and this is in Summertime Wine. Two concealers, I have Oma Beauty Stay Woke, and this is a Tea Brown Sugar T2. I'm going to use this. And I also am going to use my Lip Bar Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. And this is in the shade 4 O'Clock Cinnamon. And then we have our KKW Beauty. I'm using this um, powder contour, which is not a contour for me. It's a bronzer. So we're going to be using this. Haven't used it in a while, and I do like this along with our colored rain bronzer and this is in the shade naughty spice this is what it looks like it's a beautiful bronzer i love it for our waterline we have our urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade zero i like this because it's not such a harsh black and then lastly, we have our bronzer, no, our um, contour, and it's by Morphe, and this is their Brontour and Showmance. And that's what we're going to use to 
do our contour. I've been noticing for the last few Shop My Stash videos, I forgot to add a contour. So I remembered this week. And again, I can also avail myself to my Project Pan items, and I probably will, at least some of them. And I think that's it, folks. It's a wrap. I think we have pulled all of our products for the next two weeks. I know this video is a little late this time, but I don't know. Things just got away from me. So that completes today's video or tonight's video because it is after 7 o'clock. So that completes the video for this evening. If you did enjoy going through my items again and shopping my stash with me, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody and have a great night. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.